Hey guys, what's going on? So we are already off to a pretty crazy start this morning. As you can see, it is later in the morning. I've already been fishing for a little while now. I went back to that same pond that I did in the last video, so it's not really able to film an intro there since I gotta stay really quiet since it's a private pond. So I'm filming it now. And let me tell you guys, I had a very crazy, kind of unexpected morning. I originally started this video out by trying to film a how-to video on how to fish a jerk bait. So that is something I've been fishing a little bit recently. You know, I kind of want to do an explanation video on how to fish it to you guys well long story short that did not work out whatsoever at all for two reasons one i mean they were just straight up not biting it it was really really cold this morning it's still in the mid 40s but it was like 35 <laughs> when i got up and fished this morning and they just did not want anything to do with the jerk bait and also i completely forgot the pond i went to to fish it has a bunch of weeds and it <sighs> just did not work out. So what I ended up doing was I went back to one of my old trusty lures that's worked really, really well for me this winter, and that is a Speedworm. And let me tell you guys, I absolutely slayed them on it. I don't know what it is about this Speedworm. I mean, I really haven't heard anyone say anything special about it. I haven't heard anyone say you gotta add this thing to your winter fishing list. You know, this is a lure you should be using during the winter time, but it has been incredibly effective for me this winter. And today I'm gonna be fishing it and showing you guys how to fish it and telling you about why I think it is so effective for me in the winter time hope you guys can see my eyes there there you go lift my hat up a little bit i'm sure the whole time my eyes have just been covered by the shadow there but hopefully you guys do enjoy this video we catch a lot of fish and i explain how to fish this speed warm because let me tell you guys it is a really effective lure for this time of the year when you're fishing down south you know when the water's <laughs> not frozen anyway guys hopefully we'll enjoy this video i'm about to start fishing this pond behind me so hopefully when we get to this part of the video we will catch a few more fish i will see you guys later There's a fish. First fish of the morning, baby. <laughs> that is rewarding right there. It is freezing cold outside right now. It's like probably 37 degrees. They're not biting very well, but at least we got one. There he is, saw one pounder. Let's get him back. Oh, his teeth got stuck on my glove. As many of you know, I am a Texas boy. And I gotta tell you guys, we don't do too well in weather under 40 degrees. I'm absolutely freezing. It's about 37 out right now, and I am, whew, I'm not doing too good. <laughs> it had been about 20 minutes or so before I caught that fish, you know, which really isn't that long, all things considered. But for how good this pond's been in the past, you know, and how cold I am right now, I was struggling a little bit, to say the least. <laughs> but that feels good. No matter what, we do have a fish on the day now. Oh. Set it too early. God. There we go. Fish right there. <sighs> but he's not really won the fight. <laughs> I've literally been bit on three straight casts, guys. I missed the last two bites. <laughs> and it wasn't even this fish. They were in completely different areas than this guy. They are starting to bite now. That is a good sign. There we are. Second fish of the morning. Solid one pounder, so let's get him back. I'm not real used to fishing this lure on a bait caster. Or am I fishing on a spinning reel? I gotta tell you, I'm a little little dusty right now on the hook sets. I've missed now two for four, but I've missed two fish in a row before that, and I lost the worm both times. That's a fish. Really nice bite by him. I don't think it's over, overly big, yeah, but nice bite. That was a really nice bite. <laughs> Not even that big of a fish, but man, he clobbered it. Here we are, number three in the morning. Another solid fish, one and a half pounder. Got him right there. <laughs> yeah, the fish are certainly being sluggish. I mean, God, I'm setting the hook on them and they're just, you know, <laughs> acting like little floating ducks, not doing anything. There we are, number four in the morning. 
I gotta tell you, man, I think I love this speed worm as much as the fish do. This thing has been incredibly effective for me this winter, and it's really not a lure I hear a whole lot of people talk about, at least when it comes to wintertime fishing, but it has probably been one of not my most effective lures so far this winter. You know, I mean, I've caught fish on a variety of lures so far this winter, but without a doubt, the most fish I've caught has come on this speed worm. And I gotta tell you guys, if you're not throwing it already, I would definitely recommend trying to throw it, you know, at least if you're down south like I am. I mean, up north, obviously, it's probably iced over, you know, and you don't really want to throw it there. You want to be ice fishing or if it's starting ice over maybe throw more you know subtle baits more finessey style stuff but if it's not too too cold where you live kind of like me i live in central texas it doesn't get so cold to where i really don't have to throw finessey baits all the time like some mornings i do but like mornings like this you know especially in a little better pond i can get away with throwing something like a speed worm there's another fish bites there's another fish but what i was gonna say i really don't hear a whole lot of people talk about this lure to be honest with you i think we have a decent fish on now yeah I'll get back to that in a second. Let's get this guy off. It's best of the morning. Here we are. Solid, I would say just under two. So I've been thinking about some more what makes this speed worm so effective for me in the wintertime because it's really not a lure you hear people talk about all the time. And to be quite honest with you, I kind of just started throwing this thing. It's not like I heard it on YouTube or someone talking about how good it is. I just kind of started throwing the speed worm. So what I think makes it so effective in the wintertime, or at least for me what's made it so effective, is that it's a perfect mix of a slow finesse style lure, but also it can be fished as a reaction bait. I think it's kind of a perfect mix of both of those worlds. That is because you won, like you can just straight retrieve it the way I am right now and kind of fish it as a reaction bait, but it's still small and subtle. So it's like it's a reaction bait, but it's not overly big. So it's a really, in my opinion, really presentable bait that these fish are gonna go after a lot of times because it applies just enough movement, enough vibration to get them wanting it like a reaction bait, but it's not, you know, so big and bulky like some crank baits and jerk baits are to where even I think finicker fish that might not bite a jerk bait or a crank bait will still bite this because it's just a small little presentation and then add on to it the little spin tail this thing has which adds a little bit extra action I think just makes it look a little bit better so even though these fish today as you can see have been extremely finicky they're still wanting to go after in under 30 degrees so in my opinion I think it's what makes this lure so effective I honestly really don't know <laughs> I might just be completely talking on my butt here I might have no idea what I'm saying but at least for me so far this is kind of what I've picked up There we go. There's a fish. I think I'm starting to get this hook set down a little better now because <laughs> the first three fish I had bite, I missed three of the first four. And since then, I've caught five of the last six to bite. It's definitely a little bit different of a hook set with a bait caster than it is with a spinning reel. With a spinning reel, you can kind of set it up with a bait caster. It's more of a long sweeping hook set. because I was trying to set it up at first and that just was not <laughs> really working at all. There we are. I think it's number six of the day. Pretty little one pounder. That fountain turning on right there is a signal to me that's getting near my time to leave. Probably got about 20 more minutes here. Correction, we have 35 more minutes, so that'll be my new time stamp. I'm assuming it turns on at the same time every morning, which I would assume it does, you know. Have to imagine. Have to imagine there's a timer on it. So we got another fish. Number seven. Might be a more decent fish. Yeah, this is definitely a better fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's the morning. Not huge, but best of the morning for sure. That's probably the best fish I ever caught out of here, to be honest with you. There we are, man. That is a really solid fish. I'd say all, all of two and a half, close to three. I'd say he's probably just under three. He's really short. He's definitely not long enough to be three. Nice and fat though, for sure. Really solid fish right there. Let's get him back. Crushed it. Number eight. I don't even think it's even that big. No. Oh, don't get down the grass. Good lord. All right, so not a bad fish actually. It's a pretty solid one, but he freaking annihilated it. Most of them just been slow little thumps, and this guy absolutely hammered it. Another solid one and a half pounder. Number eight. Let's get him back. Ah, another nice bite by that fish. Only about two casts later. OK, 
shall. I gotta tell you, man, these fish, they fight hard. That's another solid one, I and mean, that's easily a two. That's a, another pretty solid fish. Say just shy of two pounds. Another really solid bite and fight by him. Let's get him back. Came back and got it. Yes, sir. I missed this fish cast before, or at least the fish in the area of it. Came back next cast and got it. And there is number 10 of the day. There he is. Pretty little one pounder. Definitely the prettiest fish of the day. Let's get him back. There's a fish. Right before I have to leave, probably made this my last cast. It is currently 8.59, one minute before nine, so I think I'll end on this fish right here. There he is, solid one, one and a half pounder. Let's get him back. So 11 fish in total from this pond this morning, man. That is freaking awesome. Considering we only have an hour and a half and that it was as cold as it was this morning. I mean, it's still in the low 40s, but whew, it was cold this morning. But I'm happy to have caused many fish as we did. So I'm gonna go pack my stuff up and I will meet you guys at the next pond. No way. Oh, he popped off. No way that you got a bite there. That sucks. <laughs> I'm getting ready to leave and I finally got a bite and he popped off. It's all good. That sucks though. All right guys, well I gave it my all at this pond. Ended up getting one bite in total and just nothing much other than that. This pond is really not that good for the most part. I just came here because it's close to the last one. But you know what? Nonetheless, a really, really good day of fishing. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new while watching it. I guarantee you, you'll be wanting to add that speed worm to your winter fishing arsenal just like me. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to Fishing ATX if you are new. Also, go follow me over on Instagram. The link to that is down in the description below. Anyway, guys, that's about it. I will see you folks next time back out on the water.